Planned Parenthood had come under fire for supposedly not removing some of the trackers that its website was was had created in terms of giving information to Google, to TikTok, to other third parties when people were registering for abortion procedures or searching for abortion procedures, um, thanks to some some efforts from the federal level, but really on Planned Parenthood, um, they suspended their marketing trackers on all their abortion search pages, as you see here. And that was um, just yesterday. Um, they were responding to an investigation by an organization called Lockdown Privacy, the maker of an app that blocks online tracking, that found that Planned Parenthood's web scheduler could share information with a variety of third parties, including Google, Facebook, TikTok, and Hotjar, a tracking tool that says it helps companies understand how customers behave. These outside companies receive data, including IP addresses, approximate zip codes, service selections, which privacy experts worry could be valuable to governments looking to prosecute abortions. Which again, on the theme of we are fighting on new territory that has been created by an extremist right wing in this country. Here you are, we're suddenly, we've always known we had to protect our data, but we didn't know how far this could be taken. And um, we've seen stories of murderers being caught because their GPS was on as they tried to buy shovels and ropes and weird stuff. And you're like, that's good. Tracking someone's GPS locations because they were seeking to terminate a pregnancy and decide if and when and how they they wanted to be a parent, bad. This is bad. Um, so there was some public outcry, right? And Planned Parenthood acted accordingly. The other thing I want to say is this Department of uh, Health and Human Services is also instructing um, instructing basically doctors to say that. Look, it is you are violating HIPAA if you give up your patients who are seeking a termination, who are seeking even regular reproductive health care or have questions. If you give them up to police, law enforcement, state legislators, whoever, that's a violation. So, look, Brett, this is happening at the same time that Planned Parenthood in places like Tennessee and Montana and other states that have these trigger ban laws. Are kind of throwing up their hands and they're like, we don't want lawsuits, so we're gonna stop doing abortions anyway. I, I I mean they're doing some stuff right, but I also feel like Planned Parenthood, I would have expected them to fight a little bit harder on, on some of these fronts. Yeah, you can still put pressure on them to fight harder. Uh, I think there's a lot of places where, where folks need to fight harder, sadly. And unfortunately, the ones that they've elected to fight for them aren't doing the job. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.